Heidi Ho. Welcome to our club. But I think I'll take him to the bridge. Take him to the bridge. Take him to the bridge. Bam, 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 bam. I want to build an elevated highway. So the basic building materials are styrofoam, a little bit of XPS and some cardboard. Nail it together with toothpicks and PVA, my favorite glue of all times. PVA is also in this black color. And uh, this is PVA with uh, plaster and sand. After one evening with a friend, this is what we have. I bought a effect spray paint effects, really effects, cheap effects, in a discounter effects, yeah food discounter they got this non-food stuff and it's supposed to make this um, nice nice stone texture, texture. it's a gray base Great. with some Style. white and black pieces of dirt in it i will put it over and see what it looks like and how it dries and stuff I don't know yet. And it looks nice. The cool thing is if you put on only one coat, it uh, dries a little bit transparent and the stuff beneath shines through. Yeah, it dries totally flat on the surface, which is really cool on the cardboard because you keep the structure a little bit. So now I'm thinking, I'm, I didn't plan before, I'm just go with the flow, you know, as always. <laughs> Cut. Cut. Draw. Sharpen the knife and uh, bevel the edges. PVA, here you are, my friend. Let's glue that cardboard stuff. I wanted to do something with cardboard in that build. I usually never do. But this is XPS and PVA again. My good old friend, the PVA. I buy it in five liter buckets. Yeah, concentration, concentration now begins. So this will be some kind of handrail. Now see how I measure things. This is measuring with the eye. <laughs> yeah, baby, yeah. This is how the pros do it. Some really fine cutting. This is where the road will be laying on. So we have to seal it in again with black and PVA. Yay! Yeah, as I learned, uh, the thing is shining through. So we do some greens and browns underneath. Uh, so it has some nasty color and uh, dirt already there. This will be the ramps at the ends of the thing. Some cardboard again. I like it. I like the cardboard. Maybe I'll do some more cardboard building stuff. Some chicken wire cut and fit in there to look as rebar. Ow! Now use the knife as a pusher.
plaster, sand, water and PVA. PVA, 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 we need PVA, 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 yay, 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 yay. Make a nice uh, abstract um, modern sculpture and uh, spray paint the pieces with the effect spray so they become concrete. It takes ages to dry, I have to say that. This effect spray takes ages. So now I'm cutting down um, pieces of this road and gluing everything together. I wanted to have it modular, but I decided against it because it was wobbly and shaking and uh, yeah, not good to play on. Now it's time to destroy stuff. Let's uh, break it up, tear it up and uh, make some demolition. It's an uh, post-apocalyptic highway. It's old. PVA, yes, PVA. Some black color. And some white acrylic color. That's uh, the base coat. Ah, and some dirty, nasty water. The magic paste. This is sift fine earth from the garden. Some more, please. some PVA glue. We need earthquakes for this recipe. Black. Another earthquake. And a tiny drop of white. So now mix it. The earth does not take the water, the color, the glue very well, so you have to mix, 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 mix. When do you know it's ready? When it looks like this. It's a really nasty paste. Yeah, it's nasty and it should behave like this. Take a little bit, take a spatula, a small one and a large one, and then push it on the road surface where you want it to be. I have it about two millimeters thick, roundabout. It's not science. The cool thing is, when it dries, it will have a nice crackle effect. Yeah, then it's time to glue everything together. Let's assemble the road pieces to the pillars. Of course, with the toothpicks and PVA. <laughs> what else? Don't ask me, don't ask me. For this piece, I I needed more demolition. So uh, let's grab the knife and cut off some more pieces. Don't throw them away. I uh, kept them as small scatter terrain for light cover, small pieces of cover. Yeah, of course, then we have a black wash. We wash everything. We wash it and wash it and wash it. I don't go over, I didn't, yes I did a little bit, over the uh, asphalt, but not on purpose. So the wash is on the table, I'm taking it from the table because, uh, yeah, it spilled all over. So now it's time to make up, dry brush, everything. Thank <laughs> you. 
it was tumbling. So I cut some MDF bases, five millimeter and glued them to the bottom and then the tumbling was over. Of course I had to paint it again and stuff and you know, wash it. <sighs> yeah. I did some static grass patches and of course, you know how this goes, I didn't have to film it. Uh, Static grass applicator, the short 2.5 millimeter brownish one and a bit, little bit 4 millimeter greenish one and uh, mix them in small patches. Some 9 millimeter static grass tufts put in various places by hand because why not? It goes a little bit something like this. Then some bigger pieces of uh, foam flock for some heavy moss or some tiny bushes and stuff in places where there is water collecting, mostly in the basin. And then I seal it in with watered down PVA. Ah, Hachi, <laughs> bless you. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and it is running down. And I was thinking, hmm, okay, I don't care. Let's see where it's dripping. And then I found out that uh, when I put some fine foam flock on it, it looks like moss running down and growing there where the water is running down. And that looked so good. Good, so I was very uh, pleased with me being sloppy before. Of course we use two colors because it's so cheap this stuff we can we can use a lot of it. But I'm um, I'm uh, collecting it in this bucket below because uh, yeah it is it is not really cheap. Look at this this running moss stuff. This is great. I love it. I love it. This was the wow effect, the moment when I said, yes, 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 this is it. This is how I want it to be. Of course, um, I'm not done. <laughs> we need some soft pastels for pigment powder to blend in and make some variations in the bigger grass patches and blend those in with the moss and the tar and yeah the finest thingies at the end. Mm -hmm. 